Hello friends and welcome back to edupediaworld.com. In this session, we'll be continuing with price determination in the long run under perfect competition. See, in the long run as compared to the short run, the firm can adjust their size because the scale, they can change upon the scale of their production. They can quit a particular industry, they can enter into a particular industry. So, in the long run, there can be different conditions which leads to the price determination. Let's see what are those. Suppose we start with that firms in a particular industry are earning super normal profit. So now what happens here if firms in a particular industry are earning super normal profit, so other firms outside the industry will get attracted towards this business. They will enter into the industry which will induce the supply to increase. and the prices as following the law of supply will go down demand being the same if the supply increases the prices will go down so now what will happen now the firm have to change the output level in order to adjust with the new prices with the lower prices so when they adjust if some firms are not able to adjust their output according to the prices they will start incurring losses so what will happen then they will start leaving the industry because they are incurring losses and not able to bear that. So when the firms are making losses they will start quitting the industry which will result in lowering down the supply and then again the price will increase. Now again the firms will adjust their output in order to avail the benefits of increased prices in order to make more profits. This will keep on happening until and unless the firm reaches a situation where they are all the firms in the industry are earning normal profits. That is To conclude with firms in long run in a particular industry under perfect competition earn normal profits only. They neither go into super normal profits nor they earn losses and prices are such determined that the firms earn only normal profits. We'll also take the help of the graph in order to show this. Now suppose this is the demand curve DD and this was the initial supply curve of the firm SS1. Now where the demand curve cuts the supply curve there the price is determined and this is the price this is the graph of an industry as in the perfect competition the firms are price takers so this price will be taken by the individual firms in the industry this is the graph of a firm now this price becomes the average revenue of the firm which is always equals to the marginal revenue now suppose this is the marginal cost curve the long run marginal cost curve. So the long run marginal cost curve cuts the marginal revenue curve at equilibrium point E. Now this is the quantity which has been determined. This is the quantity of the industry that is all the firms in the industry are supplying OQ quantity and at this particular point where LMC is equals to marginal revenue this is the profit maximizing quantity of a firm. Now suppose this is the average cost curve 
the long run average cost curve. It cuts this line at this particular point. That is, it shows that the uh, the distance between the the average revenue curve is greater than the average cost curve and with this particular distance. So, this implies because the average cost curve is below the average revenue curve, so this implies that this is the level of profit which is being made by the firms in the industry. So, this situation shows that the firms in this particular industry are making super normal profits. This is the profit which is being made. Now, what will happen now? That all the other firms outside the industry will get attracted towards this business. They will enter into the business and they will increase the level of quantity supplied. Now, due to this, the supply curve will shift towards its right. Now, new supply curve has been formed. Now, because demand is the same, the supply curve shift towards its right, that is supply increases. So, we get a new equilibrium point. Suppose this was P1, so we get a new equilibrium point and suppose this is P2. Now, again a new price has been determined because of new firms joining the industry because of and because also because the supply has increased. Now again, this price has to be followed by the firms. So this I will increase this price to the firm. Now we again get a new equilibrium point. Suppose the earlier one was E1. So this is E2. We again get a new equilibrium point. That is again a new quantity has been determined where the this is again average revenue is equals to marginal revenue we get a new equilibrium point where the long run marginal cost curve is equal to the average revenue curve so this is the new quantity now because the price has decreased so the firm has to decrease the uh, quantity in order to adjust to the new prices in order to at least make some profit uh, and according to the new prices we see here that the quantity supplied by the they will fall the quantity supplied by the firm will fall down because they have to adjust to the new fallen down prices in order to have some profits now, because here in this particular case, the average cost curve, the long run average cost curve is greater than the average revenue curve by this particular amount. So, this is a situation which is showing, this particular portion is showing that the firm in the industry are incurring losses. Now, because the firms in the industry have started incurring losses, due to this, many of the firm won't be able to bear the losses and will quit the industry. Now, this will go on, that is firms joining the industry, then firms quitting the industry. This will go on until and unless a price is determined where the average cost is equal to the average revenue. That is, the firms are neither earning profits nor earning making losses. Suppose we get the new price. At this particular point, that is now the price is P. That is, we get a new supply curve S S and we get a new quantity supplied by the industry. This was Q1, this is Q, then this is Q2. Now, at this particular point, 
now we extend if we see that at this particular point the average cost curve is equal to the average revenue curve if we extend this point this is again a new average revenue curve at this particular point the average cost curve is equal to the average revenue curve so at this particular point this particular point shows that this is a price where the that is p is the price where the firms in the industry are earning normal profits so this is how because price is determined basically price is not determined the firms have to adjust their output according to the prices which is given by the industry in the long run and under long run the firms can only make normal profits they cannot earn super normal profits and they cannot earn losses they can only make normal profits and price will be determined at a point where the firms in the industry are earning normal profits so this was price and output determination in the long run so finally we have studied about the price and output determination under perfect competition we have studied about three types of uh, time period that is market period which is referred to as very short run then short run and then long run in the next session we'll be continuing with price determination under pure monopoly till then have a nice time and thank you for watching edupedia world